The Baki series has given us great fights, some of which still remain in the memory of the fans. Despite this, there are still a couple of fights that we haven't seen in the series. So in this video, we're going to take a look at 10 fights that haven't happened in the series. Some of these fights have little chance of happening, however, that's what dream fights are all about. These dream matches would be a delight for fans. I've been reading some of the Baki forums and got an idea of what the fans want to see. I'm also going to include some fights in my personal choice. So without further ado, let's go with this video. Some time ago, I made a video about this fight and talked more in depth about it. If you want to see it, it's on the channel. But well, I'm going to take a moment from this video to talk a bit about this again. This is a highly anticipated fight. Fans want to know if Mr. Unchained's muscles will be able to withstand Jack's bites, or if the Biting Cyborg will be able to pull off a solid victory. By the way, the nickname Biting Cyborg wasn't made up by me, it was given to Jack by Ithagaki himself. And while with the recent events in the manga, there are more and more chances to see these two monsters in a fight. Oliva Biscuit is the man with the strongest muscles in the world, behind Yujiro, of course. However, Jack Hanma has a lethal new technique that could put even the strongest man in America in trouble. Jack is superior to Oliva in terms of technique and martial arts. Despite that, Biscuit is still physically stronger than him. It would certainly be very interesting to see the chemistry these two would have in a fight. We already saw that in the past Oliva's skin has been penetrated on a few occasions, so he has to tread carefully against Jack's powerful bite. This is another fight that many of us have been waiting to see at some point. The indestructible Hanayama vs. the Biting Cyborg. This clash of titans is a dream match that we could possibly see in the future. Hanayama, like Oliva Biscuit, is not someone skilled in martial arts. He relies more on his brute strength. However, he has a fighting style that sets him apart from the Unchained. In addition, his superhuman endurance would be an important factor in the fight. We have already seen that in the past he has stood his ground despite being brutally beaten. I don't think a couple of bites would bring him down. Probably if he had been in Nomi's place when he fought Jack, maybe the fight would have lasted a little longer. This fight could be described as an unstoppable force against an immovable object. The truth is that this fight would be very physical, and we would definitely see a lot of destruction. I'm leaning towards a Jack win, because lately we haven't seen how strong Hanayama has become. He's also a guy who always bets everything on offense and neglects his defense. But with Jack as an opponent, this would not be a very smart decision. Hanayama's grip strength is his most powerful weapon, so Jack will have to avoid a close fight against him. Perhaps Jack will use a strategy similar to the one he used against Nomi in the underground arena. So, who do you think would win this fight? This is a fight we will probably never see. Yujiro Hanma vs. his father, Yuichiro Hanma. We don't know for sure if Yuichiro is dead or if he is still alive, but everything seems to indicate that we will never see him return for another fight. However, a fight against his son Yujiro is still something fans keep wanting to see. They are the two strongest guys ever, so it's hard to believe they never faced each other. Yuichiro had such a powerful presence that he even managed to anger Yujiro. And from the words he said to him on that occasion, it seemed that he was actually still stronger than the ogre. In one part of the father and son fight, Yujiro told Baki that he was going to teach him his father's favorite technique. With this technique, Yujiro used Baki as a dress. Now, let's take into account that he learned this technique from his father. It would be funny to see Yuichiro using Yujiro as a dress. Yuichiro asked the ogre why he was having so much trouble defeating a child. It's as if Yuichiro had no problem defeating the ogre as a child. Anyway, I hope that someday we finally get to see this fight, even if it's through flashbacks. Sukune vs. Hanayamo would be a great match without a doubt. Both have a different fighting style. Nomi has more knowledge of martial arts and ancient sumo. Hanayama, on the other hand, is pure brute strength. In any case, it would be interesting to see a match between these two human tanks. Also in this match, we might find out who has the strongest grip in the series. Some people say that Hanayama has more grip strength than Nomi, but the Rikishi has been able to create diamonds with his hands, so that feat is still greater than those achieved by Hanayama so far. I don't know about you, but I think that even if Nomi managed to break his ribs, Hanayama would still be standing thanks to his superhuman endurance. I think this fight should have taken place a long time ago. But anyway, 
We still have time to find out which of these two monsters is the stronger. This fight is one of my personal picks. I would really like to see a fight between Dorian and Mothove. Dorian is a dirty fighter who always has tricks for any occasion. On the other hand, Motove is a master using weapons. Let's remember that even Gaia admires him a lot for his great mastery of weapons. He is not the strongest fighter in terms of physical strength. However, he is very smart and you have to take into account that he was even able to defeat Musashi using his tricks. Dorian is a guy you never know what he has in mind. He is one of the dirtiest fighters and if you trust him, you will have signed your death warrant. I don't think many would have imagined a fight between these two, but just imagine the possibilities. It's sure to be a great fight. I don't think Dorian's hypnosis is enough to take down a guy like Motove. When Baki went looking for a fight with Oliva Biscuit, I wondered, why didn't he face Kaku Kaiba first? I thought that after seeing Yujiro's fight against Kaku, Baki would also want to fight the Emperor of the Sea, but instead he decided to go for Oliva Biscuit. It would have been a very interesting match because Baki, unlike Yujiro, had never seen the Shaori technique. I wonder what Baki would have done against such a powerful technique like this. Anyway, I think Baki, like Yujiro, has the potential to master this technique. Currently, Baki already surpasses Kaku on the power scale. However, at that time, it would have been great to see a fight between these two. Most likely, if this fight had taken place, Kaku would have won. I say this since Baki at that time didn't have Yujiro's experience to know how to deal with this technique. This is a fight that almost happened during Pickle's arc. Hanayama faced the caveman for a couple of minutes until Baki arrived on the scene. Most interestingly, Pickle compared Hanayama to a Triceratops. The caveman seemed very excited to fight him, but unfortunately this confrontation never came to a conclusion. Who do you think would have won? In my opinion, Pickle would have won. Despite Hanayama's incredible strength and stamina, I don't think he would have been able to beat the prehistoric caveman. It would have been interesting to see Hanayama use his grip strength and try to break the caveman's skin. I think he would have been a worthy opponent for Pickle, despite the result. I would have liked to see them finish their fight. Baki should have taken a little more time before arriving on the scene. Ifigaki really wasted the opportunity to show the world this amazing fight. This is one of the most likely matches to take place. In Chapter 122 of Baki Do, Jack challenged all the underground arena fighters, including Katsumi Orochi. Jack challenged Katsumi by telling him that if his father couldn't beat him, maybe he could. This is a dream fight because Katsumi has become stronger and is now able to master Chinese Kenpo among other techniques. This is because he has Retsu's right arm implanted in his body. Do you think Jack could withstand Katsumi's blows? I am referring to those impacts that can break the sound barrier. We have already seen that Pickle was able to withstand them, however it is still in doubt whether Jack could. I'm sure Katsumi managed to improve that technique since he fought Pickle, so it would be interesting to know what Jack would do to counter those impacts. Katsumi is also faster and more agile than Jack, so he would have an advantage. It definitely wouldn't be easy for Jack to get his hands on him and bite him like he did with Nomi. Anyway, we are getting closer and closer to this confrontation. I don't know who will win, but what is certain is that it will be a fight that will not disappoint. There is a fight between these two, but it is not canon. However, it gives us an idea of what could happen. I'm talking about the tribute made by the author of the manga, Yusagi, Sako Tashio. This is one of the most anticipated fights for fans. The illegitimate son challenges his father to finally get his revenge. This fight has a very poetic meaning and carries a lot of weight in the story. I think many of us agree that if the series had ended with the father versus son fight, there would be a feeling that something is missing. Obviously, what would be missing is the Jack versus Yujiro fight. It's difficult to know if Jack is actually a match for Yujiro. However, it would be nice if in the middle of the fight he finally activates his demon back. Surely with this power Jack would be a worthy opponent for Yujiro. I would also like to see how Yujiro would deal with Jack's bite now that he has titanium teeth. Let's remember that Yujiro's skin is not indestructible as in the past some fighters have managed to make him bleed. Do you think that if Jack activates the demon back, he would be able to seriously hurt the ogre? Anyway, this is a fight that will surely come true at some point, since it's Jack's only motivation 
and the only reason he lives. The next two are probably not dream matches, however these are interesting fights that I would like to see in the series. Retsu vs Yujiro is a fight that never happened. There were many confrontations, but officially, they never had a fight. It would have been really cool to see Retsu fight the Ogre. Surely Retsu wouldn't have won, but I'm sure he would have put up a better fight than Ryukayo. Retsu is currently in another world and getting stronger. He himself has admitted that he does not yet believe he has the power to defeat Yujiro. However, he has demonstrated great feats that tell us that in the future, he will probably be able to do so. Kihaya vs. Sukume is another fight of my personal choice. I'd like to see this fight just to see Nomi humiliate Kihaya. That guy was way overrated, but he ended up proving that he wasn't on Nomi's level. With the recent events of the series, it might even be possible that these two could end up facing each other in a hospital. Even under those conditions, I still think Nomi could easily beat Kihaya. Anyway, I just wanted to mention these two fights because even though they are not dream fights, they would be interesting to watch. And finally, the most anticipated fight. The rematch between brothers, Jack vs. Baki. The first time these two fought, they gave us one of the best fights of the whole series. This fight in the underground arena was beautiful and with a great meaning. I would dare to say that it's the second best fight of the series. Personally, I would like to see the fight take place in the underground arena. I don't care who wins, I just want to see these two doing what they do best. According to what Jack said in Chapter 122 of Baki Do, he will try to fight Baki before facing his father Yujiro. Some believe that Jack is not yet Baki's level, but it must be remembered that in this series, the strongest doesn't always win. I think this fight would also be the perfect time for Jack to finally awaken his demon back. It would also be interesting if in the middle of the fight Jack reveals that he can already use the demon back and that he got it before his fight with Nomi but didn't think it was necessary to use it. Imagine Yujiro watching this fight and realizing how much his two sons have grown up. It would be nice if Yujiro finally accepted Jack as a worthy opponent. So, these have been some of the dream fights that fans hope to see in the series. And well, tell me what you think about these fights. Tell me if you would like to see any of them in the series. Also leave me your dream fights in the comment box, and if this video gets a lot of support, I will probably make this second part very soon. And well friends, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.